you want to know more about property titles in Nigeria, right? Come forward. Today, I will be talking to you on a very wonderful topic, exploring property titles in Nigeria. I remember my humble self, Charles Chukumapoka Esquire, a renowned property lawyer. I know you must have been wondering, what are the different types of property titles in Nigeria? Stay with me. If it is your first time of watching this channel, please, I will advise you to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notification anytime I release a video. Because this channel is dedicated for those who are interested in real estate business. Whether you are seeing real estate investors, a property developer, homeowner, or you just wish and dreaming to start a real estate business in the future, you need to know the property title so that you won't make mistake. Now, property titles are the legal documents that you can use to prove ownership. If you don't have a title document, you cannot be able to prove ownership of a property title. Note that it's sacrosanct that you have this property title and a valid one, not a valid one. Now, you ask yourself, what are these property title documents? Number one, that is most important among all the property title in Nigeria, which is certificate of occupancy, C of O. What do you know about C of O? Do you really know much about C of O? Every time people used to hear, I have C of O, I want to buy property, does that property have C of O? You don't really know what C of O is all about. You need to understand what C of O is. C of O simply means certificate of occupancy. By the virtue of the land use act, under section one of the land use act, it has vested the land in the territory of the state or the state governor. And that state governor has the power to grant the right of occupancy over the land. Now, when government give you the right to occupy a portion of land for a specific period of time, usually 99 years, they issue a certificate evidencing that, yes, you are the rightful occupant of this property for that specific period of time. That's what they call certificate of occupants. You need to have that C of O. It's a statutory right that you have, and it has a statutory recognition. Nobody can come and query you because government already recognizes you. And one thing you need to know about this thing is because it's a leasehold interest in the sense that you have, it has a reversional interest. So it's going to be renewable. But the fact remains that since the inception of 1978, the land use out was made then it has no c of o has expired so right now you cannot actually be able to say this certificate of offense has expired and what would be the the, the status of the expired c of o now the number two thing that you need to know about the land title is the land certificate now most ministries most government they always give land certificate most uh, like when they give you allocation Allocation letters is in form of certificate. Now, land certificate also can be given by families. If you go to some families, traditional rulers in the, the community, they will give you certificate of ownership. You see them like in Lagos State, you go to a place called Isheri North or Sharon Heritage Estate. They will give you certificate of uh, initiation. They call it so many things. It can be a certificate of ownership. That's a land certificate showing that yes, the community has actually given you this certificate to occupy this particular property. Even though you still go back to government to perfect your title document. Now what next? Another most important title you need to know about in property law is governor consent. Have you heard about governor consent? Governor consent is very important because by virtue of the section 22 of the land use act, the governor of the state has been vested with the power that he must give consent to any transfer of ownership, whether by assignment, whether by mortgage, whether by anything, whether a conveyance, whether a deem grants, it must be sorted and obtained. Now, another important title document that you need to know in Nigeria is deed of assignment. A title deed. What do you know about title deed? 
a deed can be a deed of assignment, a deed of conveyance, a deed of deemed grant, consent, a deed of mortgage, a deed of gift. It can be any deed. It transfer ownership from A to B. But the most important thing there is that it's an assignment. A deed of assignment where there is a, it's a legal document that converts legal title from A to B. And the person assigning the property title is known as the assignor. The person receiving the property is known as the assignee. It's very important that you, you know all these things in property title because it's very important. A is a very good route of title that it cannot do without it. Now, in addition to this, it's very important that you know more about this deed of assignment and key things that you need to know by this deed of assignment. By the virtue of Section 4 of the Status of Fraud, 1677, a deed of assignment is a contract for transfer of ownership in property. Anything involved transferring of ownership rights in a property must be in writing it must be signed, sealed, and delivered. This is the characteristic of a deed. Whenever you hear about a deed of assignment, note that and confirm that it is signed, it is written, and it's delivered to the within name assignor and assignee. And very important. And those are the things you need to know. Then another important title document you need to know is a leasehold interest. What do you know about leasehold interest? Now we know, uh, most of us heard about freehold, leasehold, they don't know what it's all about. Now today I'm going to explain to you, for you to understand a leasehold interest. Now a leasehold interest is simply when you give someone the right to occupy a demise premises, a specific property for a specific period of time. Which we come back, which you usually the right will come back to the person granting the rights. That's what is called reversionary interest. Once there is a reversionary interest in a property by way of giving out rights, it's called leasehold. You are leasing it out for a specific period of time, usually the 99 years or any other thing. Now, you must have heard about tenants. You'll be wondering what is different between a tenant and a lease. Now, or short let or whatever. But what matters is the tenor of the year. You need to understand that. Now, leasehold interest, when it comes, is usually come in form of a grant of right to occupy. It's an occupational interest. It's not proprietary interest. So you don't own the property. You, rather, you are just having the right to occupy. And note that once you are given the right to occupy the demise premises for that specific period, even your landlord cannot enter that place and do as you wish. You must do that with your consent. Now, what again? Another title that resembles leasehold that most of you have heard about but you don't know is freehold interest. Now, freehold title. Let me tell you something. By virtue of the land use art, there's nothing like freehold interest in Nigeria again. Anything you need to know is that the land use art has made it mandatory that government is leasing out. So the government is the head lessor. You are the lessee. So it is only when you're not giving it out. So nothing like freehold interest where you have absolute ownership. You don't have absolute ownership over land again. Rather, the government has the land. Government has that absolute ownership. They are not giving you to occupy for a specific period of time. Now, most of all these things came out as a result of a common law, jurisdictions, and the, some of the customary law systems in Nigeria, where we inherit land and, and transfer from generation to generation, all these things now. But the Land Use Act has abolished that. So take note of that. Then the, another one title that you need to know is customary land title. Now, do you know about customary land title? It arises as a result of traditional practice. Our customs and norms in specific communities, different types. In the western part, they have a way of uh, putting their property from 
from the family to another generation to another. So it, it continues to pass down. They have the, the, the head of the community to be the, and they also the principal members of the community. The same way that family, they will have head of family and principal member of the family. Whenever you want to buy any property under customer title ownership, note that one person cannot sell that property. Note that it must be the head and the principal member. These people must be the one to do that. So, customary land tenure system govern the titles of various um, areas in the Nigeria, both western, both northern, both the eastern part of Nigeria. So, you need to understand all this. Now, having understood all this property title, like I want, I want to tell you, if today is your first time of watching me in my YouTube channel, I will advise you to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get more notification, more tips on all you need to know about property title, real estate investment, the real estate uh, um, business wise ideas. You get everything from the YouTube channel. Stay tuned because we'll continue to educate you. If you have not subscribed, subscribe right now and click on the notification bell. And also, don't forget to share this video to your friends and well wishers who might actually have interest in investing in real estate, whether today or whether in future. Now, I want to ask you. Have you wondered the processes of obtaining this property title? What are the processes? Now, note that these property titles have different process of obtaining it. Number one is that you need to know that you must make an application. Now, application, you must make that. Who are you making the application to? It depends on who has the ownership. Now, if you are buying the property and the government, it must go back to government to get the right of occupancy. That right of occupancy is known as the root title. Now, that root title comes by government vesting the, the, the rights over you by way of certificate of occupancy or by way of gazette. So, so there are some properties that are under gazette. There are some properties that community will bring the together and they do a session process and government will take their part and give them their own part. So by so doing, government will give you authority. And note that sometimes you want to buy property, some property for under government acquisition. Now that government acquisition, you know that you are going to apply through ratification. Now ratification is a process where government can give you rights to take a particular portion of their property for that same specific period of time and this note that now the requirements you need to apply for either certificate of occupancy or governor consent or any types or even a um, ratification with government note that one is that you must have your supporting documents now what are those supporting documents did your deed title deed your purchase receipt your survey plan you must have all this thing. now that survey plan is very important now you make your application once you make your application to your lawyer and one thing i wish i tell my audience if you want to venture into buying property make sure you have a lawyer beside you do not go to anywhere in the purpose of buying property or registering title or doing anything without engaging the service of a lawyer. More better off, you can engage a property lawyer, lawyers that specialize in property transactions. Now, they will make application for you. When they make application for you, we we'll pass through so many processes. After passing the so many processes, depending on the type of application you want to do, then approval. Government will approve that. After being satisfied, the government will go for inspection. After the inspection, they will give you assessment. Once you pay your assessment fee, then they will approve your title. Once government approve your title, they will register it. Note that they will register it. Land register of the state. They will give you a registration number. Now, when they give that registration number, they will prepare your documents, whether it's certificate of occupancy, whether it's a deemed grant consent, whether it's a governor consent, the next thing is to issue the title. They will invite you to come for collection. Now, when you come for collection, you will be given that, and that's when you have to celebrate. That's when you have to be happy. You know that, yes, even government cannot revoke their property anyhow without due compensation by virtue of the Section 29 of the Land Use Act, which gives you power to take any action 
because government must give you compensation for the for revocation of right of occupancy if that case uh, is issue. Now, understanding the different property titles in Nigeria is very essential to any individual who is desirous of investing in real estate business. Whether you are seasoned investors, whether you are first time home buyer, whether you are a landlord, whether you are even a tenant, you need to know that all these title documents, you must know them. Certificate of occupancy, deed of assignment, um, uh, deed of, uh, of sublease, you must know all these things. Very important that you know the land certificate. Land certificate is a more of informal certificate that they give to you, but you see back up so that the community will, will have the evidence that yes, yeah, they gave you this property. So please take note of all these things, they are very important. And stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more tips, more understanding, and depth knowledge about property law practice in Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of this video which will enlighten you more on some other things you need to know about property law in Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best. Bye.